Today we're going to talk about the five R's of Help Desk. Stay tuned. Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another Help Desk series video. Five R's are really important if you're looking to get into an entry level role in IT. These are steps that can be taken that will greatly improve the process in which you are troubleshooting things or just trying to figure out maybe what the next steps could be. So let's get into these right now with number one, Reboot. This is obviously one that is constantly being used, talked about, and most oftenly it is joked about. But honestly, rebooting your devices will greatly help in a lot of issues. There are times where you could be troubleshooting an issue for 10, 15, 20 minutes, maybe even longer and you still cannot come up with a solution on why it's not working properly. And I've experienced these situations firsthand where I've spent an enormous amount of time trying to troubleshoot something and it just did not occur to me to just reboot it. And after I reboot it, guess what? It works. It's so funny how those things happen. But there is a great reason why rebooting helps. It does clear out your memory, your cache, and things like that. And it just resets everything back to a normal, functioning state when you don't have thousands of processes running or things just cluttering up your memory and things like that. So remember, reboot. The next one on the list is if rebooting doesn't help, your troubleshooting's not working properly, reinstall. And this is specifically relating to different applications and programs and things like that. Just reinstall it. That's always a great go-to. You can uninstall the program or application. You can clear out your registry. You can clear out any types of different cache that would remain within the system. So any type of temporary files, make sure you dump all those out and then reinstall the application. A lot of times that does help. It's just something to keep in mind as you're going through different steps of troubleshooting. You can restall different applications to try to fix the issue. Now make sure that you guys have a proper backup of some of the different files and other things that would be associated with some of these programs before you do a reinstall. The next one on our list would be replug reset. Yeah, definitely. I've run across many occasions where a keyboard just was not working and all you have to do is Unplug it and plug it back in and voila, it works. It's like magic, right? But no, there are many other cases like that where just simply replugging a device or resetting a device will completely fix the issue. So be sure to remember if you're dealing with any type of hardware issue or other technology issue that you are capable of replugging, resetting it, because that is a very crucial step in your troubleshooting process. The next up on the list is almost your last ditch effort. If you're dealing with a machine that just is not cooperating at all and you think that re-imaging it will help, definitely re-image it. I don't know how many times I've run across this in the enterprise environments that I've been in where a machine just, it just does not want to play nice with you. You've reinstalled the program, you've reset everything, and you've, you've rebooted the machine 12 times, and it still just does not work properly. Well, the best thing that you could do is re-image it. Sometimes an operating system just gets corrupt, it just gets bogged down, and there's really nothing you can do about it except for re-imaging it and bringing it back to a completely brand new state. To go over the last one, this is the absolute last ditch effort if it is not working at all, and that would be to replace it. Replace the technology. Uh, sometimes you just have to do it. You have to make sure you go through all of the prior troubleshooting steps that we went over so far in this video before you get to replacing it because replacing it sometimes can be a process. You might have to get some different approval. You might have to make sure that you have other equipment available. And again, you might have to re-image that device and make sure that it is up to date with all of the different updates that have come out in the time that it has been sitting there. There's a lot of different instances that could be coming into play when you're looking at replacing a device or other technology but sometimes it's just what you have to do. And that's always the last ditch effort because it always kind of sucks replacing equipment, especially when you have a ticketing system you have to go through, an inventory system you have to go through, and you have to make sure that everything matches up, lines up, and it all makes sense. So I hope these tips right here helped you guys out as you're looking to get into the field or maybe you're already in the field and these tips helped you. Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys. If you have any other comments, questions, or concerns, make sure you hit me up in the comments below as well. And as always, take it easy.